Bristol Street Motors with AccelerateTradePriceCars.com have the pleasure of hosting the winner of F1 in Schools, Missy, at Croft this weekend. F1 in Schools offer an exciting yet challenging education experience. The mission of the programme is to educate children from the ages of 9 to 19 with a main objective to help change the perceptions of science, technology, engineering and maths. And it's creating a really fun and exciting learning environment for young people to develop an informed view about careers in engineering, Formula One, science, marketing and technology. F1 in Schools offers an exciting yet challenging educational experience through the magnetic appeal of Formula One. F1 in Schools raises awareness of STEM and Formula One among students and school children in every region, in every country, in every continent. I'm Missy, I'm 18 years old and I'm the F1 in Schools UK National Champion. I'm from Scarborough UTC in North Yorkshire. In our Formula One scores, we create a 120th scale F1 car. We then race it. I'm the team principal of the team, managing everyone in their roles. So basically, my job on Tom Ingram's car is to be a number three. I look after everything on the rear. And I'm the number four mechanic on Tom Chilton's car. It's very important to understand what everyone does on the car. So mainly so you can help them out if they need to. So the guys are really great at teaching you what they do so you have an understanding if things get stressful and we have a short amount of time to get the car done you can just chip in help out make sure everyone everything's done even bringing the tools over to them that saves a lot of time for them just get things done efficiently and work as a team in five years time i'd like to have just finished my masters in motorsport engineering F1 in schools encouraged me to take that step forward into motorsport engineering and pursue it as a career because it gave me the insight into the, this world and see that I could actually take it forward and do it as a full-time career, not just a hobby. Something that surprised me so far this weekend is just seeing how this team works together. In my team in F1 in schools, there's only three of us and we do work very closely together. But seeing this on a large scale, where every single team member is greeting each other and working together, I think it's something that has surprised me, just due, due to the sheer numbers. But they still work just like we do in F1 in schools. Hello, congratulations Missy. Thank you. Hope you're enjoying your experience here at Croft in our pit garage and, and well done on what you've achieved so far. Thank you very much. Um, I know a little bit about what you've gone through. I actually went to uh, Brooklyn's College rather than do um, A-levels. I decided to do a, a BTEC National Diploma in Motorsport Engineering to learn more about the car a bit like you. And, uh, and for me, I'm not just a normal driver. I get very in-depth with all the engineering and stuff. And it was nice speaking to you yesterday and actually uh, running through the laptop and understanding all the squiggles on the, on the, on the laptop. It, it's amazing how many channels you can have of information out one of these cars. And obviously the, the biggest nut is the one behind the wheel, which is me. <laughs> but as much as I might say the car's doing something, it's, it's really good as an engineering point of view to back up everything on the laptop uh, with what's happening with, with the car. I mean, I, I started off actually when I was eight years old, uh, drifting Ford Escort Mark IIs in the field uh, with my dad's friends. And then, uh, and then I decided uh, motorsport was for me. And I was the youngest person in the world to ever get a racing car license at 13. Uh, I got sponsored by Richard Branson, Virgin Atlantic. And then uh, I was the youngest ever person in the British touring car testing when I was 16 years old. And two weeks after turning 17, finished third at France GP, which I never raced before. I just ran around it the night before. Um, and while doing that, I decided, um, well, I didn't actually have a road license at the time and driving race cars flat out, to go, uh, go to Brooklyn's College. And, and for you, I, you haven't obviously gone down the driving side of things, <laughs> yeah. but uh, going into to detail with how these cars are on the limit and how you can get that next bit is everything. And in motorsport, you're not just looking for one second on one place. You're looking for like hundreds or thousands, and it doesn't matter about the smallest detail you do. It's all the little bits in motorsport add up to like the big bit. And uh, it's exciting, and I think you're going to enjoy it and enjoy this weekend. And uh, yeah, yeah, congratulations again, well done. Thank you very much. Cheers. To be part of the team like that and be able to listen to everything that's going on and actually hear the driver talk about everything that he's facing, it was an experience that is unmatched. And I think it'll give me it gives me so much insight into the actual competition. 
I would like to send a huge thank you to Bristol Street Motors with XLRA TradePriceCars.com. It was an amazing weekend at Croft and I saw two amazing wins from the team. I had a great time and learned so many things that I'll take with me for the rest of my life. Again, a massive thank you to the team. 